when we moved in here five years ago, although the fences looked all right on the surface, we found after a very strong wind that they were rotten. The main posts were rotten and holes were appearing. And as we are senior citizens, we are most anxious that the work that we have done is really to be maintenance free. So instead of looking for a wooden fence as a replacement, we investigated more about the steel fence that was being advertised. We have a local flyer that comes round this area each month and Colour Fence was advertising in this as we were having trouble with the fence. We thought we would look into it further. Well, after we had a quote from Charles, we had it installed about four years ago and we had it in two stages. Because it was a very large, long fence, it was going to be a very costly job. And so we had one length of fencing erected. And then six months later, we had the other. When Charles came round and talked about it, he gave us quite a lot of information about height and colour and type and also told us about other installations that he had done in this area. So we were able to go round and have a look. We then contacted Charles again and he gave us a quote as to how much it was going to cost. Charles came along and assisted us in the dismantling of the old fence. In fact, he disposed of the old fence for us. We were impressed with the amount of, well, let's say accuracy of erecting the fence. It was not done in a haphazard way, it was exact. We were very pleased that it was left in a very, very tidy condition. One of the questions that we had to query was that with a wooden fence we could drive in nails onto which we could train our roses etc. And uh, we questioned or queried this with Charles who explained that yes we could drill holes in the uprights and in fact he helped us drill some of them and we were able to thread wire through them which the wire being the same colour as the fence uh, merged very well. Our neighbours were quite impressed with what was happening and uh, they wanted to know further details of which we referred them over to, to Charles. We also have had, since then, people around whom Charles had sent to have a look. And we've always been very pleased to spend time with these people and explain our satisfaction with the whole project. One of the advantages in having a steel fence over a wooden fence is that it prevents cats from climbing over and into your garden. It seemed that all the neighbours' cats used to meet in our garden to do their toilet. But since we've had the metal fence, that problem has ceased to exist. We often have groups of people around to see us. We have barbecues, as it were, in the garden. And of course, they see this fence and realise that here it is something different to what they have at home with their wooden fences. So I'm rather chuffed really in showing them my fence, which does not need creosoting every two or three years, which is guaranteed 
to be strong enough in these east coast winds that we so often have, especially in the autumn and the winter. When we moved here and found that we had such an expanse of, of fencing to look after, we had to look for an alternative. And we have found this alternative and we're very pleased because it looks nice. We can attach various roses and clematis around it. We do not have to maintain it and we feel quite secure because we are tempted to be boxed in. We have a sensation, I think, that it's a lot warmer with the fence around than that we would have would, with a wooden fence. So we're very, very happy with it. We feel that it's been money well spent.